If the soul of an orchestra is the conductor, then the soul of the dance floor must be the DJ. Someone once said, play the music, not the instrument. But without mastery of the instrument, how could we make beautiful music? This is where Music Conference Asia comes into play. Actually, our objective is to bring Asia Pacific down to Malaysia, to create a, a unity and a music hub in Malaysia. Hundreds and millions of music musicians, musical prodigies, producers, sound engineers, sound designers, and of course, even uh, people who are just big music fans, to come down and share their knowledge, to network, and to also debate about the music industry. At a preview for the music workshop, participants learn how a DJ puts together his sets for a night at the club. It was a sneak peek into the world of DJing, from knowing the equipment to having a good year and developing your own unique style of music. These workshops allow participants to bridge the gap of the dance floor and get in on the action. For the first time in Malaysia, what we're doing is we're making it a large-scale event where the crowd and of course exclusively for musicians can come and actually one-on-one -on -one deal with the, the DJs and the musicians and of course uh, interact with the DJs and learn what the DJs are doing behind the scenes. What do I do, what do, I do next? I mean, how do I go about getting a kick? How did you guys start? Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, no, 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 no. I mean, do a lot of mixed CDs and uh, of course you've got, I'm, so, I'm sure you have your own DJ friends, you have a group of friends who actually listen to your music. Uh, this starts off uh, a small group of people. Maybe your girlfriend will be standing there, oh darling, I love your music. Mm. So then you have one to two to three to four and then your friends start to, whoa bro, your music is cool, you know? Or you have five different girlfriends playing, you know, five different nights to five different chicks and then you, one day you put them together and say, guys, dance with my music. So start off with friends, that's all I'm saying. Do your own parties and you feel you're good enough, maybe you can organize your own little gig in a small bar do a free party, get all your friends to come, your friends will bring their friends, and if you like it, you do the next party, and so on. And Definitely, so on. first step is uh, getting confident with yourself, playing in front of people. First you've got to start with your friends, because hey, how are you going to play in front of strangers if you can't actually play in front of your friends? And it's okay if you actually mess up in front of your friends, because hey, they're your friends, they'll be supportive. But once you've actually got that confidence, I think um, before you even start approaching commercial venues, you should actually have a good idea about how to brand yourself. And um, come up with some kind of image for yourself. And well, first of all, you need to know what sounds you want to do. All right. So what I'm doing here is I'm combining Michael Jackson's jam with another track. So you notice everything is strictly in time, and you can chop in and out as you wish, just like you would with a turntable and four CD plays and a mixer. using Ableton is that you can actually jump to different points in the track. For music lovers in Malaysia, MC Asia's Music Factory is an opportunity not to be missed. The beginning, scheduled for November 21st at KL Live, is the first of three workshops that will pave the way for the big appreciation party in March 2010. I'll be very transparent, I'll be very honest with all you guys out there. If you really want to feel the energy and also learn how the en energy is created, this is the way it's done. You heard the man. Log on to visit mcasia.com for more information. Jacqueline Wong, Star, Malaysia. So